Hey, good morning, Sterling College. My name is Paul Brandis. I get the privilege of serving as the Associate VP for Student Life and as Chaplain of the College. And today is Monday, September 13th, which means that it is the start of Spiritual Emphasis Week. Now, as a Jesus-centered institution, we we always care about our spiritual lives and our spiritual formation, um, but we also know that it's important to pause and uh, do everything that we can to, to deeply emphasize and to uh, really give some extra attention to that. And so one week during the year, uh, we have a spiritual emphasis week. And we decided this year to try to do it as early in the semester as possible as a way to, to start off the year in a good direction. So we've got a lot of stuff planned this week, and I wanted to come to you with basically just a message of how excited I am. Uh, you can check out the attached PDF uh, in the email that I sent this video in uh, for all of the details, um, but I'll run through it really quickly. Uh, tonight at 8 p.m. in Heritage Hall, we have a worship and prayer night uh, to kick off the week. It's worth half a chapel credit, uh, just half a chapel credit. Then on Wednesday morning, we have our speaker. One of the features of Spiritual Emphasis Week is that we bring in an excellent speaker. Hopefully, we're always doing that for chapels, but I'm very excited about who we have this week. It's a friend of mine uh, from seminary named Brian Bigger. You can check out his website uh, in the, uh, the link below uh, in the notes for this video. Um, I also sent that in the email. Uh, he's going to be in chapel on Wednesday and Friday, and Wednesday's chapel is double credit, so two credits for Wednesday uh, chapel. Uh, then Thursday night, um, this week is also the launch of Hispanic Heritage Month, so we have integrated some of that into Spiritual Emphasis Week. And uh, Thursday night, Pastor Oscar Gomez from Lyons, uh, and he's also the chaplain at the Hutch Correctional Facility. Uh, he, with some of his uh, brothers uh, from their church, are going to come and lead a Hispanic worship service uh, at 8 p.m. That is going to be in West Calf, and part of why we're doing it in West Calf is because we're also going to have some food. Uh, so that's an easy place to both worship and eat. That's also worth half a chapel credit. Um, then Friday morning, we have chapel. Uh, same time as always, Wednesdays and Fridays, 10 a.m. in Culbertson, and Friday is Brian speaking again, and it's just one chapel credit, um, but hopefully you'll be able to make it to that, and then Friday afternoon we leave for the spiritual life retreat, the first ever time we've done something like this in Sterling College's history, it's not offered for a chapel credit, but we're really excited to retreat away from the demands and the noise and the intensity of our daily lives. Uh, this is how we emphasize spirituality is by uh, creating space for it. Uh, so we're going to Wheat State Retreat Center outside of Augusta, Kansas, about an hour and 20 minutes away near Wichita. Um, it's only $30 a student if you sign up really quickly because we have a few more spots left for the subsidized rate. We have a super generous donor that knows that college students uh, wouldn't be able to attend a super expensive retreat. Uh, so get signed up. Uh, email me or my assistant, uh, Emily Holland, that's E-M-I-L-I-E -I -I dot Holland at sterling.edu to get in touch with us to get the link to sign up for that. So we'd love to have you join us. Um, could not be more excited for what I believe and what I really I know God is going to do in and through this week. So excited to see you at all of these events. Uh, love you guys and uh, we'll see you soon.